Hello Darklings! My name is Dark Minna the Gone, but you can call me Minna, and today I am doing Chucky makeup from the Child's Play franchise. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love doing this makeup, so let's go. Let's get into this. Okay, I have my face on, eyebrows are all covered, I also bleached them before I did this because I'm like that. Um, but it's made it so much easier to cover my eyebrows. I love bleaching my eyebrows because they just make it so much easier to just be gone. Today we're doing Chucky and I've been going back and forth whether I wanted to do an e-girl version of Chucky or do regular Chucky and I have finally decided for today I'm gonna do a just regular Chucky. Obviously you can always look up a bunch of tutorials on how to do this but I'm gonna kind of do like what I would do if I was just doing a normal doll him and then him um, in Bride of Chucky in there on with all the scars and the stitches and stuff. Um, I'm super excited about this because frankly I love Chucky. I love him so much. I love the franchise. It's so good. It's so good. Um, I haven't seen the series yet uh, but I plan to. I plan to and I'm just waiting. I think season two is now done so I might go watch it after this, not gonna lie. And maybe I'll watch it while I'm doing this. We'll see. Probably not. I did decide to do this more or less because apparently Chucky's just become one of the characters people know me for. And every time I do Chucky, my videos just blow up. So yeah, I guess people just know me as a Chucky cosplayer now. And that's such a weird thought. I didn't think that ever happened. But I am obsessed with Chucky and have genuinely debated on getting a Chucky tattoo. So you know what? It's fair enough. I get it. It's fine. So we're gonna get into this. We're gonna do the thing. Let's go. I can't wait. Let's do this. I started with a light and natural contour. It's weird for me to do more natural makeup because I don't do it often, but it's what Chucky needs. I then moved to a natural highlight using a highlighter with little to no shimmer. Finally, something that isn't so natural. A bright and obnoxious blush that's fit for a doll all over my cheeks and a little bit on the tip of my nose. I imagine good gal dolls probably have a lot of blush that's definitely exaggerated. Moving to my eyeshadow, I stick to natural beiges and browns to define and deepen my natural eye shape. I did take a darker brown color under my eye on a fluffy brush to create a more sunken in, tired look. Taking the same light beige color I used for my brow bone, I went over my eyelids to highlight them to add to the sunken eye look. But of course, I couldn't help myself and had to add a little shimmer to the corner of my eyes. Moving away from my eyes, I take a small detail brush with light brown face makeup to dot freckles over my nose and cheeks very carefully. I went with more realistic freckles this time, but sometimes I like to do the same doll freckles that Chucky has in the Child's Play movies. Finally, time for my eyebrows. Using orange face paint, I carefully make small lines across my brows, making them look like painted on eyebrows dolls sometimes have. Chucky has these in the Child's Play movies, but he gets real eyebrows in Bride of Chucky. So you can choose what you would like to do for the eyebrows. I personally prefer these ones. Moving to my lips, I quickly line them with a pink liner before using a lip gloss over them. If I was only doing Child's Play Chucky, this is where I would stop the makeup. Since I'm doing all the stitches and scars version of Chucky, I continued by using a red liner to plan out the scars. While doing this, I have a picture of Chucky to reference. Afterwards, I used red eyeshadow to fill in and cover my eyelids, and also to go over the scars to make them messier. Finally, I take a dark red face paint on a thin brush to cover all the scars, sharpening and darkening them.
once I had all the scars down, I took black eyeshadow to define the scars further. I didn't blacken all the scars, just enough to add some dimension. Taking the same black eyeshadow on a fluffy brush, I defined the crease of my eye as well as under my eye. Time for the stitches! I took silver face paint on a small brush to cover the scars with small lines. Once that was done, I took black eyeshadow over the bottom of the stitches. This is just to add some shading and some more dimension to the stitches. The other eye, I added a light pink eyeshadow to the lid, used a fluffy brush to blend the eyeshadow out and around my eye. Going back to my lips, I take a dark purple lip liner to the inside of my lips and blend it out with my fingers, darkening my lips slightly. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'll be your friend to the end. Heidi ho, ha ha ha. <laughs> All right, we got it. We did the thing. Here is the finished product of Chucky. Um, I always love doing this makeup. This makeup is just fun. I just enjoy doing the stitches and everything. I did decide to do the chin strap. I've seen this a few times in different ones because I think this is what they use for the series, as the Chucky series. They do the chin strap where this isn't normally on uh, either Bride of Chucky or Seed of Chucky. Uh, a lot of the time his stitching goes all the way down instead of here. So I just, I really like the chin strap. I think it brings all of the makeup to a good spot. Um, I'm always sad that all of the forehead stuff doesn't show because I, I have the big bangs, but I love doing it anyways because eventually, one day, I will do a crossplay of Chucky. It'll happen. I will actually do a male masculine Chucky and I'll have the hair sticking up and everything and I won't have to worry about, or I, you know, I'll know that I like can do this. Um, especially because one of my favorite things is this little fork thing. like. Whatever that is, I love that. Um, right next to this, these uh, scars that are coming from his eyes. I don't know why those are like my favorite parts of his makeup, but those are just really fun and I just really like those. Of course, along with like the, the scar coming down his lip. I just love all of that. I think it's so fun and I think it's a great part of his character design. And um, as you can say, like I just kind of show you guys where I would stop this makeup if I was just doing regular doll him versus where how I would continue it uh, doing the scarred look. If you would like me to do a e-girl or goth alternative version of Chucky, uh, I've done it once, is I kind of did like a if Tiffany did Chucky's makeup kind of look, and I literally only did like two videos on TikTok of it. So if you would like me to do that or you'd like to see a tutorial on that, please just let me know in the comments and I would love to do it. I might do it anyways, let's be honest, because I really do love Chucky and I love the Child's Play series, so... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, please attack, respectfully of course, that like button and attack that subscribe button as well. If you're feeling real spunky, please press that bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. If you'd like to see more of what I do, please check out my TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, all of which will be in the description box below. And thank you again, and until next time, bye bye!